lives on a personal level and on a societal level. Uh, what uh, you do to make this change in all the life, world, country, goody? <laughs> well, I hope that I contribute in some way to the change happening, change that uh, is driven by people themselves who want to make an improvement in their lives, in their lives of their families, and in the lives of future generations. And I hope that I contribute to that through education yeah. and uh, also through our graduates by assisting and supporting and helping and mentoring them on the path towards change. Yes. And uh, do yourself what you need to change. Well, I think that is a very important question for yeah. each of us to answer as individuals because change starts with us. Yes. And uh, we are the only ones who can change ourselves. So starting with a, a deep examination of our own behavior, yeah. why we behave the way we do, why we understand the world the way we do, uh, is an ongoing process of reflection and uh, I'm still doing it. So it is a, a process of uh, becoming as yeah. well as being. In other words, uh, when you are recognizing and reflecting on certain behaviors that are not helping uh, achieve the change that you want to see, either personal change or societal change, then a new approach is needed. And being open to that new approach is an also an important part of the reflection process. Yeah. When you when you uh, listen to this word change, what you remember from your life, from world, from your student, from any countries, any example, what 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 light when you when you listen to this word change? Well, change can take on many different characteristics. Probably the the first example that comes to mind is the change that my parents went through. Uh, After the Second World War, they had to leave their home, yeah. leave their country, yeah. to come to a completely new place where they didn't speak the language. Uh, and of course, being Russian, yeah. there was an assumption when they came in 1951 that they were communists, and yeah. so they were labeled. Yeah. So this change uh, created great difficulty, yeah. a lot of challenges for my parents when they came to Canada, but as many, as often is the case, the challenges of change also come with the hope for change, yeah. that there will be a better life uh, as we work through those challenges. So that is one thing that uh, certainly comes to mind when I think about change. Yeah. When I think about change since I've been at the Cody Institute, yeah. it is the same thing. Change brings both challenges yeah. and it brings hope that there will be a better life ahead. And I see that in the faces of our graduates yeah. and participants in the program yeah. who believe that change is possible and that they will work towards change. And I have seen many examples yeah. of graduates who have come away with fire yeah. in their hearts and uh, passion to make that change happen. Yeah. Uh, what you finally say to hope, close to the hope and uh, depressed, they start to make a change, but people make many limits, many things to stop the change in countries and families. Mm. What you can say to, this who, to those who don't can 
go on and stop with hopeless. Gaining our hope back, gaining our faith back that something can be done is absolutely critical because without that hope, without that faith that something can be done, we will do nothing. So it is important for those of us yeah. who still are hopeful to help to communicate that to those who are not, to help them to see the possible, to give them a, st a sense of what could be done and has been done in other places. And I often see that is the role of the educator, yeah. is to show that things can be done different. And even in the most impossible situations, yeah. that change can happen if we believe it can happen and if we work together to make that change happen. Thank you for your hope. You are most welcome. <laughs>